Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios Photograph for today, a fall color in uh, Forest Lawn Cemetery in Orangeville. Hi, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. Today I'd like to share 1 Peter 2 verse 9. It says, But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you to, out of darkness into his wonderful light. Here's my poem. Out of darkness into light. What keeps you in the dark? Is it a sin that continually lurks? You can answer God's call. He never wants you to fail or fall. You are chosen to be his follower. You can accept him and be his disciple. He called you out of darkness into the light. He wants the best for you in all you do in this life. Here's my essay. So many people continue to live in darkness because they don't know any better. Some, on the other hand, purposely choose to live in the dark. God incessantly calls us to live in His will and in His light. But many people get stuck in the ways of the world. It took me many years before I gave up living in the dark. When I finally made a decision to choose God and stay in His light, my life flourished and blessings kept pouring. The Bible talks to us about our true identity in Christ. We are brought into the light out of darkness by the sacrifice on the cross that Jesus Christ did for us. Prayer. Lord, keep me in your light always. Reflection. When did God deliver you from darkness? Um, I think... When I clearly saw that he was delivering me from darkness, I was in my 20s um, or maybe early 30s. Yeah, I was in my 20s before, before, before early 30s, before my 30s because I, my son was born when I was 27. And so it was when my son was born that God showed me that he's trying to pull me out of the darkness that I chose. Uh, you know, I, I lived a very... Uh, sinful life before God has shown me you know the the magnitude of his light and I know he's been calling me for the longest time but I didn't commit and I didn't answer his call so when I did the light shone so brightly in my life and uh, there were so many things that I could do that I didn't I wasn't able to use to do and I discovered that I could paint and so God taught me how to paint. I was a self-taught painter, but I wouldn't think that it was only me, but it was God. It was the Spirit of God that made me use painting as a tool so that I could start healing and I could start uh, dealing with all the anger that I had in my life because of all the traumas that I went through. So I invite you to get out of the darkness and come into the light. Because Jesus always wants you to be in his light. In his light, there is so much blessings. In his light, there is so much peace, there is so much joy, there is so much um, love in his light. So, get into his light. Have a blessed day and I hope that you'll be able to uh, enjoy God's light. Um, maybe in, the, in a sunny day, just go out and see what forms of light God is showing himself to you. Have a blessed day.